Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be going over another approach to flipbooks in Niagara and Unreal 4. So like usual, the first thing we need to do is get set up. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to materials and I'm going to create a master material. We'll call it M Fbook 02. And then I'm going to create a material instance of this. And I'll name this correctly by naming it MI. And then we're going to make a Niagara emitter. From here, we're going to create a blank template. And in this, any fbook02. And now let's open up our master material. So the first thing we need is a particle sub UV. And I'm going to bring this up here. We'll convert it to a parameter. Just call this T fbook. And then in your texture selection, we're going to click on the drop down. You want to make sure under your view options, we have show developers content, engine content, and plugin content. In the search bar, we're going to type in smoke. You'll see that the engine provides us with T smoke sub UV 8x8. So this is going to have 64 frames on it. The next thing we need is a particle color. So we'll add that. And then we need two multiplies. So we're going to multiply the full color of the texture by the full color of the particle. And we're going to multiply the alpha of the texture by the alpha of the particle color. And the last thing I want to add here is what's known as a depth fade. And what this is going to do is whenever geometry comes into contact with the geometry of this particle, the particle is going to fade. All of the cards from your sprite render, that's geometry. So we're going to plug this into opacity and we're going to plug this into emissive. The last thing we need to do is set the blend mode to translucent and then we'll save. So the next thing we want to do is we want to open up our Niagara emitter and we're going to go to the sprite render. We're going to drag our material instance right to the material. And then as that's compiling, we're going to set our sub image size to eight by eight because that's the texture that we have. And now we need to actually render something. So we're going to go to our emitter update click on the plus, spawning, and we're going to choose spawn rate. Spawn rate will set this to something like 10. And then you can see that we have particles showing up. So I'm going to zoom in here. We'll just play through this really quick. And you'll see that this isn't animating, but we are rendering particles. Now I'm going to go to particle spawn, and I'm going to go down to set new or existing parameter directly. And we'll click on the plus icon, and we want to set a specific parameter. And in here, if you scroll on down, you'll see particles sub image index. And if we scrub on this, you'll see that this is going to animate through the different flipbook frames. But you'll see that this snaps at the end. And that's because this texture isn't actually set up for looping. So we're not going to use it as an animating flipbook, but we're going to use it for variety. So I'm going to click on this drop down, I'm going to go to dynamic inputs. And I'm looking for uniform, I'm looking for a uniform range float. I'm going to set this to randomize between 0 and 64. So every time a particle spawns, it's going to choose between each one of those frames. Now I'm going to go to particle update. I'm going to add a little bit of velocity. We'll fix that. We'll just set it to something like 0 0.4 for now just to see how high we have this going. Okay. Maybe a little less, 0.3. Now we're going to add a, and now we're going to add a scale sprite size. And in here, we have a vector two. I'm going to change this into a float. And then this float, I'm going to change this into a curve going to add a key in the middle and then I'm going to select all of the keys and I'm going to set these to auto so they're smooth. This first key wants to be set to zero and then this top one I can set to something like 1.5. Frame it. Maybe I'll pull this back a little bit here. And now I'm going to add in particle update I'm going to add scale color. In the scale color, I really just want the alpha. So I'm going to set this to a curve. 
And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna add a key, I'm gonna select all the keys and set them to auto. I'm gonna set the first key to a value of zero. Make sure that the second key is set to one. I'm gonna move it back a little bit, turn this curve down. Let's see what we have so far. So that's okay, that's not bad, but we want a little more variety here. So in the initialized particle, I'm gonna go to the sprite size and I'm gonna change this to a float as well. But this float, I'm gonna set this to a uniform range float so that we have a few varieties here. So I'm gonna have three and eight, something like that. Let's see what happens here. So now I'm gonna click on sprite rotation and I'm gonna turn this into a uniform range float as well. I'll make this negative 360 and 360 the max. So get a little more variety. Yeah, it's looking better. But now I want to give this a little bit of a rolling rotation. So in particle update, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add sprite rotation rate. And this in itself is fine. What you'll notice is all you really have is rotation to change the rate going left or right. So we'll set this to something like 20. And you should see that when we play this, you'll see that each one of these sprites are rotating right. So if you wanted it to rotate the other way, you could do negative 20. That's fine. I think I like the other one the other way. Set that to 15. I think that looks fine. And we kind of have something like a, we kind of have something like a chimney smoke. So from here, you can go in and you can change the values to something that you like. But this should really show off how to approach flipbooks from another way. All right, guys. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.